Hey guys, so this is a supplemental video to a video I did a few days ago on the AOC external monitor. It's a USB 3.0 display link monitor. In that video, I mentioned that uh, setting it up on Windows and OS X was really easy and it was a little more involved in Linux and asked if anybody wanted me to do a video on that. Just let me know. I got a couple of requests for that. So this is that video. Things have actually changed a little bit since the first time I set this up. Um, on the download page, on the display link uh, website, there's now a executable or installer for Ubuntu-based Linux distribution. So that's what I'm going to go through today and walk you through that setup on Ubuntu-based systems. So here we go. All right, guys, so here we are in an older Lenovo E530. I have KDE Neon on here. KDE Neon is a distribution. It's uh, really light. It's kind of stripped down, and it has the KDE desktop and the Ubuntu um, base on it. So when I install this, because it's uh, KDE Neon, it may have some dependencies that aren't there, so we'll worry about that as we go. So first thing we want to do is go out to the display link site. This is the same site that was in the previous video and I'll have a link down in the description for you if you want to grab it on this video as well. We're going to download the Ubuntu driver, uh, click on download here, and then we're going to scroll down to the end and hit accept. So that's going to download real quick, it's, it just takes a few seconds. So now that it's downloaded, we'll go out here, click on it, and I'm just going to extract this, uh, this zip file here. So that's going to extract out to a .run file, which is essentially an executable. So I'm going to jump out to my terminal and navigate out to my downloads folder and go into the display link. And then we see that display link driver 1354.run. So I'm going to run that with the sudo command because it needs uh, super user rights to run this. Display link and let's see what happens. Okay, so there is a missing component DKMS. So I'm going to do a sudo apt get, uh, let's just do apt install DKMS. And hopefully that'll grab it. Yeah, it's there. It's going to install. This will probably just take a few seconds. And then hopefully this will be the only component that we need. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and try to run that display link installer again. Okay, it doesn't look like it needs any other components. So this might take a little while to build this, so I'll probably speed it up a little bit at this point, or maybe just skip to the end. All right, so that's installed, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick reboot and then plug the monitor in and see what happens. So actually, guys, before I restart, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug the monitor in and just see what happens. Um, because I'm not sure you need to restart for this. I'm going to use both cables on here because I think this is the older laptop I was talking about where I actually had to use both of the cables to get the power. All right, so we just had a flicker on this side. It just logged me out. I'm going to log back in. And with any, yep, yeah, we actually have something coming up. I'm not sure how well you can see it on there because of the glare but we do have a display. I'll get a, a tighter shot on this. So let's go out here and open up our displays and see what, yeah, so it's showing both displays. This is the built-in laptop screen and this is the external display and we can move those around and just like we could in uh, Windows and OS X. So that's it guys, the installer used to be a lot more difficult for Linux, there's a lot more um, messing around. Uh, there may still be if you're not on a Ubuntu derivative, but for Ubuntu, um, it looks like it's almost as simple as it is in uh, Windows and OS X. So hopefully you guys found this informative, I hope that helped the people that, that uh, wanted to see this installed in Linux, and uh, it seems to be working great, I can drag stuff over and um, you know, there's no lag or anything. It seems to be working just fine. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video.